Well, it's warmed up a little and the snow's all melted. And I finally got my parts in the mail for this thing. I've got it a little bit taken apart here. The new valve body is American made and the ports are a little bigger. So I'm going to have to get down to the store and figure out what size I need. But i got to take this off first. Well, Napa didn't have all the parts I needed. I got three of these and none of these, so we'll be in tomorrow. I did get another filter on this thing, though, and I got my oil already, so I'll have to pick this up tomorrow. I hate leaving it down by the road so close because everyone stops and looks at it and thinks it's for sale. And, of course, it doesn't help that it actually says for sale on the plow, but if I fire it up... That front pump will just keep pumping and I'll lose all my oil out of there and I don't want to burn that pump out so better wait. Alright next day I just got back from Napa with the rest of the fittings I need and uh, not very nice today. Kind of rainy. But I got an umbrella set up here and when I take this apart I'll towel it all down make it nice and dry so it'll be okay. As long as the wind doesn't pick up and take my umbrella here. Alright, we got the new one all plumbed up. I would have set you on the tripod if it wasn't raining out. But I need to get a longer bolt because that's not bolted down at all. These, these little offsets here are too, too deep for the bolts that were in the old one. Anyway, I've filled up the reservoir here. Pretty well topped off. It's going to that level will go down because you know this is empty and all these lines are pretty much empty so I'll probably have to top it off a little bit more using this Kubota UDT oil stuff's expensive a little cheaper than the newer super UDT but still pricey stuff I suspect it'll start a lot easier this time last time I started this thing up it was like oh, about 10 below I get my seat dried on all right, here we go. The glow plugs on my pool. I can see we're gonna have an issue here with the uh, the hand throttle. Gonna have to reroute that. Close. My uh, decompression lever there isn't working, so it froze up. Let's figure out what's up with that. Cycle the uh, hydraulics so we get any air out of them. But this valve body works a lot better, a lot smoother. It used to be when I was just gently pushing down, it started to bog the tractor out. So this just feather it right down. It's nice. It'd be even nicer when it's mounted to something. Almost forgot I got the side to side. Uh oh.
That stuff's working all right. bit of it. 